I'm in my kitchen today and what I thought I would do is show you how I make elderflower cordial. I'm sure many of you may also make it, it's not difficult to do and what is wonderful is taking the elderflowers and using them to make the most delicious and refreshing summer drink. Elderflower grows in so many of the hedgerows around Highclere so it's really easy to collect. So I'm trying to probably collect about 20 heads and that should make a really nice batch of elderflower. And it's rather fun looking for elderflower with the dogs. They really enjoy it. <laughs> the first thing which you're going to shake the insects out of and then just wash them a little bit and put them in a bowl. The next thing you need is one and a half litres of water and two kilograms of sugar, which is about just over four pints and four pounds of sugar. Pour the sugar into the water Give that a stir, and then I'm going to put that on the stove. I've started it on quite a high heat, and then I'll turn it down so the sugar begins to dissolve into the water. And in the meantime, is I'm going to pare down the lemons, take this beautiful yellow skin off. We do grow some lemons in the greenhouses. I can sometimes use them for this, but I also use them for spaghetti and limoni as well, which my husband loves. And then I'm going to chop the lemons into rounds. So here we have one pan of boiled water taken off the boil. I'm now going to add all my slices of lemon. And then I'm going to add 75 grams of my citric acid, which you can get actually from any pharmacy. They sell it to you in little small boxes. And I'm now just going to tip in all my elderflower heads. Lose that bit of stalk. I'm just pressing all the heads down into the water and syrup mixture. And it's thoroughly mixed around. I'm then going to leave that to steep for 24 hours. And then when I come back, I'm simply going to put the colander over a big glass bowl, line it with a bit of muslin, or actually you can use a stocking or a pair of tights cut out and do that. So then it's just going to hold all the remains of the elderflowers and the lemons and in the bottom of the bowl if you do it in batches you'll find some delicious elderflower cordial when it's cool put it into little glass bottles or even little jam jars and you can put it in the fridge or you can actually freeze it as well and it'll keep for three months this is a lovely rich honey color i'm going to decant it into the jug in order to try to pour it into a glass bottle which i have cleaned out with boiling water. Fill it up with some water. Mmm, delicious actually. 